Nintendo and Capcom, now there's a team if I've ever seen one. So what's up guys, welcome to The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Yeah, spoiled it before the title even came up. Man, I feel like such a terrible person. I don't actually, I just didn't know what else to say. Look at Link here riding on, oh damn, look at these cutscenes, damn, he's cute. What year was this made again? Uh, because I kind of like was looking over some random dungeons on some webpage and I saw Jabu Jabu's belly and I thought, wait a minute. Jabu Jabu's belly didn't exist till Ocarina of Time. So obviously this game came out after Ocarina of Time. And for the longest time I didn't realize that. So, but, but anyway, I guess I just got the Triforce. I guess I just beat the game. So what a fast LP this turned out to be. It's been fun, guys. Next time, I guess we'll go to Oracle of Seasons and uh, see if we can't beat that game in 25 seconds, too. There's the mana tree. Birds flying out. Angry sky. More like just a fall sky. There we go, Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. How's everybody doing today? I am Nintendo Capri Sun. I did a little run here, a little, you know, file just to make sure everything worked. Actually, let me sync this real quick. Two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, go. New game secrets game link. Yeah, so I'm not really sure how the game linking thing actually works. Because if I understand it right... <laughs> uh, yeah, I go to fast. If I understand it right, it seems like in order to see everything or do everything or get everything, you actually have to play through each game twice. And I don't know if I want to do that, you know. I, mean, I definitely don't. I mean, it's not for the lack of ever having played a Zelda game before, but holy mackerel. Wow, it's just like Link's Awakening. Can't move the bushes, but we can see ways to go. Help! What's going on? Oh, hey, d d leave her alone, you bastards! Get out of here! <laughs> it's a lucky thing they ran away, because I didn't exactly have a sword. Thank you, Traveler. What, what's your name? What's your name? Are you Impa? You're Impa, aren't you? Why is your face blue? Are you like one of those, um, new age hippies from Earthbound? Oh, okay. A singer named Nehru. Wow. <laughs> How the mighty have fallen, you know? It's like one day you're a giant goddess up in the sky, flying around and creating land and the law and everything. The next day you're singing. What a great spot. Such clean air. Now if only time could stop. Huh. Foreshadowing much. This is the animal's utopia, so more animals come. See, we got the Link of Link's Awakening thing going on here. Oh. Oh, that's it. Holy crap, you run fast. This rock with the Triforce is a sign. But a sign of what? Could you move this rock for me, NCS? I don't know if I trust you. Why? Just look at her face, man. She looks like... What are you doing? Hurry up and move this! No! I'm gonna go the... Where am I going? I'm running away is what I'm doing! What are you gonna do, come after me? Alright, fine. There, I did it. You happy now? Thank you, now let's go. <laughs> no gratitude whatsoever. I mean, sure, she said thank you. But anybody can say thank you. Oh, hi there. Well, there she is, with her new career. The pot of it. I have to hear her neighbor's song. Yeah, you do. How charming. Mm. Shh, can your neighbor sing? I didn't say anything. Huh? They was the best singer in Lab Labrina. Labrina. Okay. La la li li la la li li la. Hey oh I oh I yeah yeah. What's this over here? I don't know, maybe we should mess with that later. Anyway. So let's see, I think you can like push one of these guys up a little bit. Here we go. Sit here and listen. How charming. Who's the guy? Why is his mustache coming eight inches off of his face? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's how I used to react every time My Father's Eyes by Eric Clapton came on the radio. You're Hyrule's messengers, aren't you? 
Impa and NCS. <laughs> I don't think NCS belongs in the same echelon as Impa, but I suppose. You know, I was actually gonna, like, do one of those theme songs at the beginning, like, I am going to play the Oracles, and I'm gonna suck more than the Chicago Bulls! I mean, I couldn't think of anything, though, so I didn't do it. Uh, chalk it up to laziness, I don't know. You can also chalk it up to me having shingles. I just found out, like, five days ago that I had shingles. So I've been taking some medication for it. And I'm on the fourth day of five, taking five pills a day. Or seven, well, no. Oh, it's seven days. Shoot. Anyway, well, apparently she's got Ralph here to take care of her. So I don't know where that puts me on the proverbial food chain of Hyrulean what? Why is she happy? Uh-oh. You are correct! Not bad for a diva, not bad for Nehru! Or a couple of ages! Something terrible will happen right now before your very eyes! Oh, God. She was possessed by a ghastly... How did I know? There we go. Oh, man. What, what's... Yeah. I don't have a sword. Or a boomerang. Wow. Thank you, NCS. You allowed me to pass through the sacred barrier. I've been waiting for this moment. I am Vidin. Sorceress of Shadows. Oh. You look more like the Kraken with the... Uh... Why does everybody's hair come off of their face six inches to the side, I wonder? Just everybody's, except for mine. You know why? Because I comb my hair every day. And I use the brand that man... Oh, no. No, why, why did you possess her? Possess me! Oh, man. Yeah, here we go. Somebody's got a sword in here. Don't, don't attack her! Yeah! Ralph's like, shoot. I guess I better run go go to Taco Bell and hide in the bathroom. Of course. It's only five minutes in and we're already saying it. Jeez. Well, you can travel through time, too. Doesn't that just... Doesn't that just take the cake, though? No, oh, where are you taking my friend, my goddess, my singer, whoever she is now? She's going in the warp. Where did you think she was gonna go? I shall go to the past and do as I please! Why do I suddenly sound like Papyrus? Oh god. There's two lovers on the beach here, but uh... Well, something's happening and they're scared, but they're never looking away from each other. Oh man! Dude! She doesn't want him anymore now that he's old. So sad. So sad, bad dad. Monkeys turn into stone. Well, there goes your animal reunion, I suppose. Oh no, not the kid! You can't hit him, he's inside of a house! Oh, Oh, that poor mother. The poor, poor mother. That vidin. She couldn't touch the stone, so she used you to get in here. No, don't start blaming me. I'm sorry. I've known Nehru was the Oracle of Ages since she was a child. I've always been beside her, protecting her. Then why have we never heard of you? But now this. Nehru! <laughs> Nehru! Wait, I'll save you! Alright, let's see what you can do. Oh, Impa. Impa, are you okay? Oh, it seems you're getting your color back. That's good. Oh, NCS, you saved me. To think I was possessed. To think I was possessed, as Castlevania 2 would say. It's a high rule. It's always about high rules. Like, everybody talks about it, but we're never actually there. I mean, I'm guessing this is a real place. This is not like some Koholint dream world or something. I'm surprised Koholint is not in Smash. You know? Now, there's a world I'd like to see get made in 3D. Of course, it's amazing. You know, ten years ago, I remember saying 
gosh, I'd give anything if they'd make remake Secret of Mana in 3D. But since then, they've remade so many games in 3D now. It's like Pokemon, and... I mean, as far as that goes, just about anybody can do it now with Minecraft, but still. Ooh. Okay, pretty simple stuff here. Can you go meet the Meku Tree? The Meku Tree? Oh. Is the Sefu Roth gonna be there? Neighbor's house is east of here. I'll be there. Oh. Okay. Where do I go first? I have a sword! I have a sword! Why can't I use my sword? Oh, it's... Why, why is that mapped to that button? Oof, I don't like that. Um, I'm gonna change that. I mean, I'll leave it where it is for now, so, hello. Hey, how you doing? Please save Nehru, yeah, sure thing. What else you got in here? Can I go in this fireplace here? No? So you have the cock upon the wall, but it don't bother me at all. Oh! Is there any time indicator there? Or something? Oh, Octorox! Yeah! Here we go, let's smash! Rolling Ridge, Lena City. Well, let's not go to this city. Let's go this way. Oh. Well, obviously, we're not going to get very far. So what, are we going to be able to jump up in this game? Jeez. I don't really know. Like, I've seen videos of this game here and there, but I've never really watched a full playthrough, so I don't know, like, what I'm really in for here, and I decided not to do a practice run of this. Because it's a Zelda game. I mean, you know, it's more fun to do it blind. Besides, I think I'm pretty much capable of editing it down, you know, so that I don't look too stupid in the final recording. Oh, guess what? This is Lena City. There's the shop. I can't afford anything there, so... Uh -huh. Power glass again. Ouch! You can't carry them like that! They can't see me with your head there! Oh man, a lot of carryovers from Link Awak Link's Awakening here. Jeez, I can't do much with that right now. There's even water. Can we drown? Yes, we can drown in it. Oh, jeez. Takes away life when you do that. Okay. And then we're gonna need to watch our step, apparently. Is this a mermaid statue again? It's the shop. Wait, what does the sign say? Meku Tree? Okay. Well, they told me to go there, so maybe we should do that first, though. Yeah, rings is like one of those things I believe you can carry over to the other game by using like the little password system or whatever. So, and I'm very interested to see like what kind of rings you can get in this game. You can I get a blue ring? That would be a good start. <laughs> oh, I imagine that's not gonna happen. Yeah, I get you. You don't have a ring, Bax. I like you. So here, take this ring, Bax. Get a level one ring, Bax. You can hold one ring. Take this ring as a sign of our friendship. Hmm, so you've had a ring appraised and its power revealed. You cannot wear it. Okay. So you just gave me a ring and now we're going to appraise it to see how much it's worth. Isn't that kind of awkward for you? Ah. So you get more rings, we can get them appraised for 20 each. Now the list. Appraised rings get added to the list. When you want a ring, move it from your list to your box. Talk to me to see your list. Let's take a peek at it now. Okay, so you just sit there and equip it. Easy enough. Rings do nothing unless worn. You know what? I'm curious now, what do these books say? All about ring secrets. Okay. If you save the secret the Red Snake told you in an Oracle of Seasons game you played, played tell it to the Red Snake here, you can bring rings found in your Oracle of Seasons game up here. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, well. Okay, if you haven't finished your quest or used the secret to visit Labrina, your ring secret will not work. So you have to finish the game, basically. I'm assuming, like, because of passwords and stuff, I can just like, do it without the Game Boy Cable or two Game Boy Advances or whatever. That's not exactly how I'm playing this. <laughs> Maku, Maku Path. There's more houses over here. I don't know, I'm not, I gotta look around, man. More water. 
Okay, see, I kind of remember this. I am Bippin, the expert arborist. I know plenty about trees. But let me tell you something. Blossom and I just had our first child. Yes, we did. Have a look. Aw. I am Blossom. This is my first child. A healthy baby boy. But I'm having trouble choosing a name. Can you help me think of one? What would you call him? I don't know. Maybe we'll call him... Call him Fodden. Fodden. You would name him Farron? Yes, sure, why not? It's a fine name. I shall call him so. He seems happy to have it. Come visit us anytime. Sure. Do 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 do. How far is this gonna go? Like, oh my gosh. Another building over here. This town's kind of big. Ho ho, I am Troy! They made a movie about me 12 years ago, but uh, I didn't ever watch it. Actually, I did. So promise if you come here and speak, just between us, I have seen an animal called Moosh. I can save up energy as it floats and then pound the ground with great force. Moosh! Is that like Muso? Like that one game where you get a, you build up your Muso and then release it and it goes crazy? Know it all, Bird's Hut. First timers, welcome! Well, that, that, oh god, oh man. Do I really have time for all this? What to learn about those subscreens, you know? I think I may have to pass on that. That seems like something I'd rather read off screen, to be honest. I'm gonna sit there and go over all that, that joke goes against our aesthetics, you know? Mm. What kind of candy's never on time? Choco late. Ah. Thanks, Chugga. Of course, it, oh no. What's going on? My grandson has turned to stone. Ah, oh. That's no good. Well, we're gonna need to get that fixed up, but I don't know how we're gonna do it, though. Did I see this screen? Lately, folk have been vanishing and turning to stone without warning. What's happening? Your guess is as good as mine, man. I am Plin, the mayor here in Lena City. Lena has a long history, reaching back hundreds of years. Back then, it was the Lena Village, not a city. Ah. Uh, can I sleep? I wanna sleep, man. Oh, dang, I can get over there. Well, not now, but maybe someday. <laughs> oh! Anyway. <laughs> it's gonna be like my trademark reaction to yawning, just- Oh! Well, I guess we better go see the tree. I mean, it's only... You know, we gotta do at some point. Thank you, Road. Oh, wow. If not for the music, I would've thought I was in a dungeon here, but... Uh... Danger, Will Robinson. Danger! Hmm. There are blocks. No block puzzle to be seen here. Danger. So much danger, I'm not seeing any danger. There's not even any bats in here. What does this mean? Huh. This is like some kind of a um, phantom hourglass thing where I just keep coming back and- Oh, hello. Can I crawl in there? Hmm. Pleased to meet you, young hero! I am the Maku Tree, guardian of Labyrinth. And, oh no. Did you know she went back in time? Hope she doesn't dig up your seed. Oh, trying to flood the world. It looks like she's made some progress already. Uh oh, here it comes. Yeah, I've seen this. Uh huh. Ah, yeah. I think she's digging up your seed. It's no good. Yeah, I've seen Looper, I know how this works. But it's not pleasant, I can tell you that. Oh, jeez. Just like that, the tree's gone. The Maku tree, there is- this is more Varen's work. You may- Varen just left through this time portal like 15 minutes ago. If we go back in time, we should be able to save Nehru and, uh, Maku tree, I'm coming, Nehru. Well, you just come away, I reckon I'll follow. <laughs> And away we go. Oh, look at this. Okay. 
So the hourglass is telling you whether you're in the past or future, I guess. Because now the sand was all at the top. Looks like I was a weird hat, and then you. Ever since that girl Nehru came, there's been all sorts of weird goings on. Alright. Same shit, different day, I take it? Hmm. You know me, I can't possibly go the right way the first time. It wouldn't be Zelda if I did that. Hmm. They look like a happy family. I wish I could join them. I believe I've seen them before. Oh, you're, he's not gonna throw a hundred mile an hour ball at you. Not until you get some glives. Queen Ambie's tower, huh? No. Oh. Alright, sounds bad. Woo, yeah, alright. Forgot, you gotta get right up on these bushes to hit them, too. Okay. Water down here. Something tells me I shouldn't be going this way. There's definitely something over there. Shevel's house. Shevel Knight. And this is the same. Hello there. There's been no night for many days, as if time has stopped. Well, in that case, there's been no days either. Sort of. I mean, like, it would still be the same day then, wouldn't it? The sun doesn't go down, the sun doesn't come up, you don't go from one day to the next in that case. Unless you have clocks. Sha, sure, only the darkness can ease my heart. I guess laughing my troubles away is just a dream deferred. Hmm. Well, why would I want to take that away from you then? I don't think I do. What is this? Oh my gosh. No! Just no! You've got to be kidding me. This is how we know this game came out after Majora's Mask or whatever. So, I mean, you know who this guy is, guys. You definitely know. I can't pretend like I don't know. You don't have to pretend like you don't know. Let's just get to the point. IN THE BATHROOM! Okay, paper. Do you have any paper? Do we have to get some more toilet paper? I don't have any more toilet paper. Looks like we're gonna need to get some more toilet paper! Jeez. Get some more toilet paper. There are gosh of seeds sprouting, growing, making nuts. And all those new nuts got different stuff inside. Heh, <laughs> get rid of it for me. Oh, hey, alright. Planted in soft soil. I know there's soil right by my house, but don't go planting seeds there. I wasn't going to. So, I take it we can equip that? Or not? Maybe we- oh, gee, no, no we can't. So this is our equipable- yeah, okay, we got the sword put on A, good. So that's- yeah, that's better. That's how I like it. Like Zelda 1, you know? Maybe if I just walk up to the plot of land, it'll let me- Yeah, there we go. Sure. Guess when we come back in the future, maybe that'll be something? Guessing that's how it works. Queen Abby is busy. She's in no mood for any who come empty-handed. Bring her a rare item and tribute if you wish to see her. A rare item. I'm like, what is this? I'm like 20 minutes into the game here and you're asking me for a rare item? You're not supposed to get those until end game. At least that's what I thought, but... Hi. Queen Abby had a boyfriend, a seafaring man, but he's at sail one day and never came back. She's building a tower, so tall she can search the lands for any sign of his return. And Brande does her best to understand, dude. So it's just like that song, isn't it? Um, okay. Back here. Should I talk to you? The Queen was very kind until only recently. You can ask the village elder about the Queen. He lives across the river, near the tower. Oh. I don't think we can get to him yet. Too bad. Look at you! The village is full of excess dirt from the tower. There's no room to walk, and any tools we could use to clear a path are being used for construction. I almost blew out my lungs there. Oh. Hmm. Need some time to practice. It's only ten rupees. Oh, I don't have ten rupees. Sorry. Maybe some other time. Wow, hey guys. This is Linda Village. Wow, excuse me, we haven't had any nights for a few days now. We haven't had any nights for a few days. 
So the tree does exist back here. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna let you hit me with that. The village has been full of rubble ever since work started on that tower. You can't get anywhere without a shovel to clear a path. Okay, can you give me one? On your path, huh? Alright, well... Looks like we need to grab ourselves a shovel. And now we're back here again. So we gotta find some way to get up into that castle. However, are we going to do that, I wonder? It's by trial and error, I suppose. Or we can just do it next time on Zelda Oracle of Ages. Should I do that? I mean, there's no doubt we're getting pretty close here. Yeah, why don't we do that? Next time on Zelda Oracle of Ages, try to find a way to get into this castle. See you guys later!